Allegedly, Mudahar watched underage anime girls. I am as shocked as you. Look, I love Mudahar as a content creator. I watch his stuff all the time, but his personal shenanigans got him in trouble. Whatever you're doing in your private time is your secret. Privacy should always be respected, unless it involves something illegal. I don't think that Mudahar broke any rules when it comes to his internet history. However, something popped up that's quite disgusting. This reddit post says resurfaced video of Oompaville, some ordinary gamers and Nuxtaki watching can't say that word on YouTube together on a discord call. I know what you're thinking, this is a reddit post. It's as trustworthy as Sam Hyde being the shooter me. However, someone responded to that post. Someone with a username called Some Ordinary Mudahar. This could be Muda's Reddit account. First strike, man, you're on Reddit. Get alive. This is what he says. Can't speak for Caleb, but uh, from what I remember regarding stuff like this, this is stuff from Nux showing us <clears throat> for his competition. And usually in this, there are around multiple creators. I had a stroke reading that. So you and Oompaville rate this guy's um, artwork. That's quite weird. However, that's your right. If you want to do that in your private time, yeah, go ahead. Pyrocynical likes inflation furries, so you can't do any worse than him. Or perhaps you can. On a completely different topic, I looked up Mudahar Exposed on YouTube. This is your op, Muda. This guy right here. I'm still pro okay? I actually choose to die on that hill. Excuse me. Why I don't trust Mudahar. Thank you, Mr. Anime 343 Revis husband. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that on the internet? No defense here, I'm not knowledgeable on anything anime and I blindly assumed someone we collaborated at the time showed us mm -mm and nothing illegal. Since this appears to now come from something more sinister, I apologize for what I said in this and I'm livid at Nux who was quite against this kind of material in both public and private conversations with us. Yeah, is it really something you're not that knowledgeable about? Mmm, I don't know. One of my many cousins who's willing to help a younger brother cousin like me. Oh, sweet home Alabama, here we go. All right, I'm, I'm missing some context here. You accidentally watched something that would put a person on a watch list. You said it a thousand times in your videos that you're absolutely anti uh, underage anime girls. Unlike this guy. Another cousin, bro, when you start mixing like three or four different fucking relations to each other. <laughs> That gets me wild, man. That gets me wild, man. This isn't a good look at all. I know I'm cherry picking. Sorry for Sunny v 2 ing you, but uh, this is weird. Whatever he showed us at the time, I had believed would just fall under a legal mm -mm banner in Canada and the US and assumed poorly that all of it would just be legal and after filming, just go on with my day. Will you be continuing your friendship with Nux? Just curious, consider this arguably worse than the picture Ava Tyson put on the wall at Mr. Beast's house. It does also cast some doubt on Nux's story about his communication with Shad. No, if he's showing things under a false pretension, then I have no reason to continue the relationship. So what I understand is that he's not going to drop this Nux guy if Nux keeps his story straight. Bro is literally playing Minesweeper in Reddit replies. He's trying his best to not hit a bomb. In other words, Muda won't do anything. In his previous statement, he said Nux is very against this uh, underage stuff. However, it slipped up during a competition that is managed by Nux. Or Nux is one of the competitors. I don't know. I can't decipher that in one sentence of a Reddit post. This whole situation is weird. But nothing really to blame to Mudahar. This is just a afterthought. Perhaps it's difficult to assume an anime character's age. But wouldn't it be totally clear if you saw a literal animated representation of a child? 
child in such videos. Yet, in your statement, you said you didn't realize that. I mean, I'm not familiar with that world. I could be totally wrong. In contrary to all those other commentary cucks, I'm staying as much away from the internet as possible. When was the last time that you were happy when you picked up your phone? Do you get my point? All this degeneracy is from being terminally online on the internet. Get a grip of yourself if you're going down that path. And if you do want to go on the internet, make sure you're doing something productive. <laughs> make slop content. Get that bread drop shipping toilet seat. Do whatever, but don't make competitions about animated thoughts. It won't put bread on the table for your real life. Apparently Hassan Piker is going after Muda. I mean, he's going after anyone except for the candy man. And uh, he had some interesting opinions about Mudahar. Here's a clip. Which is largest political streamer, left wing political streamer, can just out clean your shirt man what the f is this disrespectful ass bullshit by the way you know promote this kind of stuff on the platform and it's not even just that it gets to a point where like imagine being a political streamer and you bring a actual pirate a actual criminal onto your streams and instead of you know being respectful and being a proper journalist you get on your knees and suck their uh, yawn. I can't believe it. You mean you had a <laughs> yeah, an actual pirate? No, he's not an actual pirate. You're a pirate, Harry. Who else is riding the seven seas on the internet? Who else has fruity loops on their computer without paying a dime? Now let's get back to the topic. Hassan went after Mudahar for a reason. Muda gave his trashy opinions about a very complex subject in the Middle East. A computer channel started talking about politics, <laughs> like Asmund Gold. Go watch that video, it got shadow banned for a reason. Apparently, some of them even, maybe not neo Nazis, but some YouTubers even sit around and do reviews of child Baba Boy. Drawn child Baba Boy. Baba Boy. Baba Boy. That's how little YouTube gives a shit about their own terms of service. You know, Mudahar should know that. Seemingly, he participated in a review of Baba Khan himself. Well, he's right. The clips are there. I'm not going to show you the footage since I think it's disgusting. You can search it up on YouTube. But this whole situation just makes me question humanity. How depraved are some people? And I'm not talking about Muda. He could be totally innocent in this situation. There is no concrete proof of him like deliberately want to watch that stuff. Someone is innocent till proven guilty. So Muda did watch it, but um, it it wasn't his fault. He didn't want to watch that. If he had a choice, he wouldn't watch that. That's what I'm getting from his message. I mean, like any other normal human person would say that. So, yeah. And I can't believe I've put in so much time into making that. <laughs> I, put, I put a picture where it said, I like, <laughs> like, subscribe. You know the drill. See you guys in the next one.